how does a perfectly normal man suddenly turn into a homicidal maniac? That was the paradox of Declan Keane. But at that moment, I wasn't worried about solving the mystery. I knew if Keane got loose in town, more people would die. Somehow, I had to contain him inside that bank. Then I remembered. That distracted him long enough to slap on a sedative patch. I warned Fishman something like this might happen. He wouldn't listen. He'll have to blame somebody for what happened. Probably be you. I thanked her for the warning, but I'd made a deal with Fishman for supplies. A deal I felt I'd honored. So I wasn't about to leave town without those supplies. The sedation brought some lucidity. He had only hazy memories of his life before the psychotic fits, but he was haunted by a lingering image. Julie, say something, please. I'd later learned that Julie Summers was a local orphan Keen had taken under his wing after the fall. Every day when he went off to work in the ethanol plant, Julie would wait for him by the river, catching fish or crawdads for dinner. Until that night, his first rage hit. Kept thinking about Josh's theory that Keen's condition was neurological. And after several hours, I noticed his fits came in regular intervals. In fact, they came like clockwork. Somehow, the EMP was triggering Keen's behavioral change, wreaking havoc with his brain. It was only a matter of time before the man known as Declan Keene would be gone, replaced entirely by a monster called the Berserker. Still, there were larger implications. The possibility that sustained electromagnetic energy in the atmosphere might turn us all into homicidal maniacs.